glory to the newborn king. For me, one of the precious things about Christmas is singing carols, especially some of the memories it evokes from Christmas time when I was a child. Dark winter evenings, sometimes snowy, with family and friends, Christmas lights, lots of carol singing, Chris Dingle, an amazingly decorated Christmas tree, a lit up crib, presents, satsumas and chocolate. Some amazing memories, but I always fondly look back at the carol service at Christmas Eve, a packed church with lots of gusty singing and a real sense of anticipation and excitement. My favourite Christmas carol is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. The lyrics of this old Christmas carol pretty much sum up the story of Christmas. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Glory to the newborn King, Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. That's how it's described in the book of Luke, chapter two in the Bible. But glory to the newborn king. These are the words of the song that encapsulates the most important herald that there's ever been. The announcement by the angels of the birth of the savior of the world, Jesus the Christ, the long prophesied Messiah, born in Bethlehem some 2000 years ago. He was born to bridge the gap between humans and God due to the sin in our lives which breaks our fellowship and relationship with him. This year, we can know the true meaning of Christmas by opening our hearts to the message, the reason for the season, which is the birth, the perfect life, death and resurrection of Jesus. That phrase, glory to God, the newborn king, is so rich with meaning, but that meaning is twofold. First, Jesus comes to bring us his glory. There's a newborn king who comes to bring us his glory. There's a lot of different kingdoms on earth ruled by kings or other types of leaders. There are great kingdoms of the past and there are great kingdoms of the present. There will even be kingdoms in the future that we've not yet encountered. But Jesus brings a different sort of kingdom. He comes to bring God's kingdom. This newborn king brings a new sort of kingdom that calls us to repent, which literally means turn around or do a 180 and embrace the good news. The kingdom is a good news kind of kingdom because it reveals the glory of God. And second, we in return bring our glory echoing back to him. We receive the glory of God, his beauty and majesty, his goodness and greatness into our lives through faith in Jesus. And we bring glory to God by living in response to him today and all our days. Our lives are intended to be an echo, giving glory back to him. We're an echo by living with our eyes fixed on him day to day, and taking a step of faith today with him. We can choose to orient our whole way of living around Jesus and his teaching. And that is part of the amazing and precious message of Jesus. Let's pray. We praise you, precious God, for the glad tidings of peace, the good news of salvation. Your word became flesh and we have seen his glory. Let the radiance of that glory enlighten the lives of those who celebrate his birth. Reveal to all the world the light no darkness can extinguish. Our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, in the splendour of eternal light, God forever and ever. Amen. Here's wishing you all a very happy Christmas.